A woman was lying on the hospital bed for a prenatal checkup, but as soon as the instrument touched her belly, something inside seemed to be moving. It kept pushing against her abdomen, causing her to scream. Even the doctor, with over two and a half years of experience, was baffled. It was the first time he had witnessed such a situation. Unconvinced, he placed the instrument on the woman's belly again, but this time, as soon as he placed it there. This scene left the doctor in utter disbelief. He couldn't comprehend how the child still inside the woman's belly could possess such great strength. Unable to handle the situation, he quickly left the operating room with a nervous nurse. After discussing for a while, the doctor finally made a decision the only option was to induce early labor. However, what the doctor didn't anticipate was the visible rapid expansion of the woman's belly. In pain, she shouted for the doctor, who rushed to comfort her, assuring her to trust his expertise. Despite his two and a half years of experience delivering babies, the woman couldn't endure the pain. She grabbed a small knife from the nearby cart preparing for a self-induced cesarean section. The nurse, finding the right moment, forcibly restrained the woman and administered a sedative, calming her down. As the two prepared for delivery, the nurse, upon lifting the sheet, was unexpectedly sprayed with an unidentified corrosive liquid. The nurse screamed in pain, and the doctor, alarmed, rushed over to check. Meanwhile, the woman's belly continued to undulate, and a giant pair of forceps emerged. The doctor, with over two and a half years of experience delivering thousands of babies, had never seen such a bizarre occurrence. They were dumbfounded by this series of strange phenomena. The newly born crab, like creature, crawled towards them, frightening them both. They hastily ran out of the hospital room, shocked that the woman had given birth to a creature resembling a crab. This unprecedented scene terrified the doctor and nurse with over two and a half years of experience, prompting them to flee. In a different incident, a girl named Anna was playing alone on the lawn when suddenly mysterious claws emerged and grabbed her ankle, pulling her down. Anna forgot how she spent that night but woke up in a mysterious small forest. More shockingly, she discovered she was pregnant and panicked, trying to escape this dreadful place. Luckily, when she managed to reach the road, a car approached, and the driver, prompted by the passenger, successfully drifted to a stop in front of Anna. She urgently requested the couple to take her to the hospital for an examination. The kind couple assisted Anna into the car. Upon reaching the hospital, Anna removed her coat, revealing a visibly enlarged belly. She told the doctor that the child in her belly must not be allowed to stay, as it would pose a huge threat to everyone. Anna, however, didn't reveal why she made this decision, only hoping that the doctor could quickly end this nightmare. At that moment, Anna's father, Mike, learned about his daughter's situation and rushed to the hospital. However, the security guards stopped him outside. Mike threatened them through the fence, demanding them to open the gate, or else they would face consequences. The seemingly indifferent doctor turned away and walked, angering Mike. He was already under demonic control and had come to stop his daughter from aborting the child. Watching the closed gate, he directly summoned his three sons to forcibly enter the restricted area. Mike and his three sons arrived at the hospital gate, wielding gatling guns and firing wildly. They quickly shattered the gate. At this point, Mike's only goal was to quickly check on Anna's condition. Simultaneously, a bald doctor in his office had secretly stashed a large quantity of firearms. He pulled out tens of thousands of pistols and donned a bulletproof vest on his bulky body. Loading the pistols, he prepared to go outside to confront the people and protect the hospital. The bald doctor, encountered by Mike and others at the intersection, prioritized shooting them. However, due to overwhelming force, he suffered injuries and had to retreat to his office for a brief rest. However, Mike, under demonic influence, wouldn't let him off. Accompanied by his sons, Mike followed him and shot the bald doctor dead. Meanwhile, in the operating room, Anna had finally given birth to the demon child, or rather, it crawled out of her on its own. The doctor and nurse, terrified by the gruesome scene, hastily fled the operating room. Outside the room, the floor protruded upward, as if something from hell was emerging. As the only man present, he courageously approached to inspect, but as soon as he reached the edge of the hole, a black hand grabbed his ankle, pulling him down. The other two screamed in horror. In their terrified expressions, a demon emerged from the hole, appearing to be an ugly ancient bull, horse. At that moment, Mike, who had arrived at the operating room, suddenly heard the agonizing screams of his youngest son. He immediately picked up a nearby gun, 
preparing to go out and deal with the threat that had harmed his son. However, as soon as he opened the door, he was confronted by the bull, horse, and he was sent to join his youngest son. Witnessing the scene at the door, Anna immediately removed the tubes inserted in her, arranged her clothes, picked up the nearby gun, and shot the newborn creature three times. The bull, horse outside the door, witnessed all of this, seemingly not very saddened by the death of its child. It looked deeply at Anna before leaving with the lifeless body of the crab creature, leaving this heartbreaking place.